60 Minutes Overtime. This week on 60 Minutes, we profiled the actor, screenwriter, and director Greta Gerwig. She's the brains behind Barbie, the out-of-the-box blockbuster that made a billion dollars worldwide, the highest grossing movie of the year. I feel what can only be described as admired, but not ogled. And there's no undertone of violence. Mine very much has an undertone of violence. Gerwig brought her partner in work and life, filmmaker Noah Baumbach, on board to help her write the script, but neglected to tell him. He learned about it from a headline. I think I said, apparently, <laughs> we're writing a movie called Barbie. Yeah. Uh, I said, oh, whoops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even fathom it. <laughs> we sat down with the duo at the Chelsea Hotel. We spoke about their work on Barbie, their approach to screenwriting, and why their partnership works. And we tried to learn whatever we could about a Barbie sequel. I started doing these very, like, early pages. Um, and there was something about this idea of Barbie not having anything to say about or context for uh, death. And in the whirly gig of the movie, it's like the whole thing starts and it's, it's almost like a clock working and it's all, you know, it's very mechanical and it all kind of fits together. And then when she says, do you guys ever think about dying? That's what breaks the movie. Do you guys ever think about dying? Noah immediately understood what I was doing and was like, you know, this is exciting and there's a movie in here. That scene didn't get into the movie as it was written. It's I know, too I was like, strange. there's no way this, this is, is going to be in the movie, but this is the movie, but not the movie at the same time. And the movie does have the essence of that scene in it. Right. And I actually remember calling you about that line. We want the words said how we wrote them, but like sometimes when you're on set, you you qu you question it. I think maybe Margot asked. I was like, should we do one that says, do you ever think about, do you guys ever think about death? And I called Noah. I was like, should we do one that's death instead of dying? And he said, no, death is a concept. Dying is personal. Hmm. When you're writers, yeah. the words are important. Everything is mm -hmm. chosen specifically for a reason. Yeah. When you hand that over to an actor or actress, yeah. how much are you trying to keep to exactly what is on the page? I mean, 100%. I like say every word exactly as we wrote it. The way we write, both in our movies that I direct or she directs or that we write together or write individually, it's, there's a sort of musicality to it. Part of me knowing if, if the take is working, if the performances are working, is hearing it. You know, and you can tell you when it's You need to off. hear it. I mean, you it's not about it's ego. Off, yeah. It's just finding your own way into your own, as a director, into, into the scene. With everything we've done together, then with Lady Bird, Little Women, this one, it, everyone needs to be word perfect. Word perfect. Word perfect. I mean, even if somebody swaps a word out, it doesn't sound right. There's certain things we've done together that sound more um, casual. They sound more like spoken language, but they're very specific in their casualness. Uh, like Lady Bird, every um, every like, every you know is scripted precisely. They're really? not, they're, yeah. You should just go to City College. You know, with your work ethic, just go to City College and then to jail and then back to City College and then maybe you'd learn to pull yourself up and not expect everybody to do everything. Also, so much of our writing together is conversation. I mean, it is this ongoing over weeks conversation that is also being written down. We do tend to actually write separately. Like we write scenes we're working on separately and we'll trade scenes and we kind of listen at the door to hear if they're laughing. Yeah, I mean that's, I essentially like give her the pages and then like lurk. <laughs> and uh, I do the same, yeah. like so you, so we do that, but then once we have like a run of it and once we have like a something that feels more like a script, then we start reading the whole thing out loud. So that's the other thing is that we've vetted the language ourselves so we can hear if there's a, a joke that's repeated or a rhythm that's off or something that's... Yeah, or you're like just trying, trying to say things with fewer words, you know, you're just line editing. So it, it sort of exists in language really quickly. I'm just Ken. Gerwig says they wrote the role of Ken specifically for Ryan Gosling. They even had his name written next to Ken's lines in the first draft of the script. Ryan Gosling yeah. slid up like a bajillion times. <laughs> um, we also tapped into whatever the Ken 
Ryan voice was in such a way we had way too much material oh, yeah. for Ken. We would write and write and write. Yeah, don't Very give it away because we might do. Yeah, but but um, yeah, there was a whole. There was a whole. Yeah, just more about more the, what what the Ken the, the effect movie, in the real a, world was. was yeah. a, the, I would say that was a, the movie is essentially always what the movie was, but there was a version that was just. There's some, if there, you thought this one. <laughs> Had lay this one is just like it became an it, it was so explo it, it exploded at a certain point. Yeah, it's, it's not something you can say. Well, we'll put it in another script because. Yeah. <laughs> Could there How be a Ken movie? Uh, I think. Uh, we can't comment. On I that. can't comment. <laughs> I can't comment on that. I mean, the truth is, you know, well, we guess we'll see. <laughs>